In today's video, we're gonna do a comparison of FEPI and Cornerstone, and I'm gonna share with you five reasons why Cornerstone is the superior investment, in my opinion, okay? CLM and CRF, again, I think that they are superior investment vehicles than FEPI, and I'm gonna share with you five reasons why, okay? If you need help living the FIRE lifestyle, which means financially independent, retire early, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. So we earn over 200,000 per year in dividends at this channel, and we're not just getting high dividends without the performance. We're up 17% year to date. Okay, 17% year to date. Let that sink in for a second. The S&P is up nine, the Nasdaq's up eight, the Dow's up three, and the Russell's up two. So for all those who thought Cornerstone can't outperform because it goes sideways to down on its chart, Think again because here it shows that we're up 17% and I put 400,000 of my dollars into Cornerstone. All right, so most of my portfolio of the 600,000, 400,000 is Cornerstone. If you want to follow my portfolio, just click the join button on my wall at YouTube or I'll link it in the description below. So on a daily basis, we're also outperforming the market. We're up 0.21%, whereas the S&P was up 0.14%. And if you go to a snapshot of Cornerstone, you'll see that it was up 0.64 today, whereas FEPI was up a little bit less. It was up, FEPI was up 0.45, so Cornerstone also beat FEPI on a daily basis. But look at FEPI on a one-year chart. It just goes sideways. Look at Cornerstone on a one-year chart, and it actually appreciates, okay? You just have to learn how to play Cornerstone properly, and that's in my Volume 4 e-guide. So Cornerstone, the first reason why I have most of my money in Cornerstone and why it's a superior investment to FEPI is because of its maintenance. It's 30% maintenance okay this is the secret to living the fire lifestyle as you know for every one dollar you put in your account you get four dollars of purchasing power i'm just using a fraction of this around one million dollars in purchasing power to get ahead all the greats that i know use debt to get ahead including elon musk he used debt to buy Twitter. He uses margin debt to buy Twitter. So I'm just using my dividends of around 240000 per year, and they pay down my debt in around one year. Okay, so I'm not worried about my margin debt because my leverage goes away in one year. None of this shows up on a credit check to banks. I can click sell at any time and my margin debt is gone, but why would my dividends pay it back and my leverage magically disappears? So this is the key to living the fire lifestyle. Every $1 you put in your account, you get four and you just use a small amount of debt to get ahead, but the secret to using debt is maintenance, okay? And Cornerstone is 30% maintenance. If you need help understanding maintenance, that's in my volume three e-guide. So again, I have five reasons for why Cornerstone is a superior investment to FEPI, and the first reason being it's 30% maintenance, whereas FEPI is 50% maintenance, okay? FEPI has, again, 50% maintenance, which sucks up half of your equity when you're trying to live the FIRE lifestyle. So if you have a high available withdrawal number, which is what you need when living the FIRE lifestyle, you need to take into account maintenance because if you have high maintenance names, then your available withdrawal will drop, okay? I have to have this number stay above zero at all times to avoid margin calls. So currently I can withstand over 20% corrections in the market and still withdraw freely out of my brokerage account. I can use my E-Trade credit card to swipe and go wherever I want in this world. Okay, you can buy cars, clothes, shoes, whatever you want. You can use your margin to buy anything you need in life. And also my bills are automated out of my E-Trade account. So everything that comes out of my E-Trade account, of course I have 50 to 60,000 in bills per year. So my debt won't be worked down completely in one year, but I don't mind holding debt because it's low interest debt. I've negotiated my debt down twice. It's around six and a half percent interest. Many of my clients who bought my e-guides did the same because when you buy my e-guides, you get my phone number for free. So I help walk you through the script if you ever need that. Also, you get free Discord access, by the way, when you buy my e-guides. And this is where we alert you of the Cornerstone Rights Offering announcement. Okay, we have almost a thousand members here in this Discord chat room pursuing the fire lifestyle. And again, we alert you of the Cornerstone Rights Offering announcement in Discord. So Discord's free and my phone number is free when you buy my e-guides. All right, so that's the first reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI, okay? It has 30% maintenance. It's much lower than FEPI. FEPI's is 50%, and you can't really live the fire lifestyle if you have all of your money in 50% maintenance names. Now, you can go to other brokers with lower maintenance, but what am I going to say next, guys? Well, it might not have the special drip for Cornerstone, okay? Not only does Cornerstone have a 21% dividend that it sets every year at its NAV. Currently, it shows 16, but every year, the dividend is set at the NAV at 21%. Not only does it have a 21% dividend that's close to FEPI, okay, it's pretty much in line with FEPI's dividend, but it also drips the dividend down at the NAV. No other fund does this 
that is linked to the indexes. Okay, Cornerstone is linked to the S&P and moves up with the S&P. It actually beats it, but it also has a 21% dividend. So it's really hard to find other index funds, again, with a 20% dividend. I mean, you can go with JEPI, JEPQ, SPYI, but they don't have the dividends that you need. A Schwab D, they don't have the dividends or the maintenance that you need to live the FIRE lifestyle. Cornerstone gives you best of both worlds, dividends and low maintenance that's tied to the index. And it gives you that special drip down at the NAV, down at the true market value, whereas FEPI just drips its dividend at the market price. So if you own shares here where my mouse is with Cornerstone, you're getting the 21% dividend drip down here at the NAV, down here at the true value. If you own FEPI for its dividend, it's just dripping up here. So you get no advantage to drip FEPI, only with Cornerstone. The second reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI is because of its upside potential. Look at the chart of Cornerstone. Again, I was alluding to this before, but you have to time it around its rights offerings. In between rights offerings, it averages 20 to 30% premiums per year on top of its 21% dividend. So as you can see here on its five-year chart, it moves in a channel here from around seven to 12. And seven to 12, I mean, look, that's a huge gain if you can pocket that before the next rights offering, okay? So you have to use Cornerstone properly. You have to time it around the rights offerings, which again is in my volume four e-guide. And that's how you get not only 20 to 30% gains per year, just from Cornerstone itself. Like today it was up 0.64. You can get typically 20 to 30% in capital gains each year from Cornerstone, but you also get the 21% dividend and it drips down at the nav. So the first reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI is the low maintenance. The second reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI is that it has upside potential, but just time it properly between the rights offerings. And again, we alert you of the rights offering announcement in Discord. The third reason why I like Cornerstone, well, I already alluded to that. It has about the same dividend as FEPI, except it drips that dividend down at the net. So that's the third reason. I'll save you some time there. The fourth reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI is that it has a rights offering opportunity. I know I just mentioned the rights offering, but FEPI doesn't give you this opportunity. You should be welcoming the rights offerings. Many closed end funds like Cornerstone have rights offerings. Okay, Cornerstone is no different, but the rights offerings tell you when to buy and when to sell. FEPI doesn't tell you when to buy. It doesn't tell you when to sell. So if Cornerstone alerts you when to sell. You can potentially pocket your premiums and your dividends and then reload at lower prices. All right. And you just need to follow the rights offering announcement in order to stay on top of that. Okay. And again, we, we follow that for you in the discord chat room. Okay. So that's the fourth reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI. And then the fifth reason why I like Cornerstone over FEPI is that it has total diversification. If you go to the holdings of Cornerstone, you'll see that it has many holdings within it. It's the entire S&P and it has some other closed end funds within it, but FEPI is just tech. In fact, FEPI is not only just tech, it's pretty much the Magnificent Seven. So if anything goes wrong with the Mag Seven names, then you could see an issue with FEPI. Whereas if tech were to fall, it wouldn't hurt Cornerstone so bad since it's fully diversified. Okay, so these are the reasons why I like Cornerstone over FEPI. And don't forget, when you get dividends with Cornerstone, they are tax-free and they qualify as income to banks for loans. So that's how I really live the FIRE lifestyle because you need pay stubs or dividends to qualify for loans. You can't use trading gains or Bitcoin gains. Also, look at Bitcoin today. It was down significantly for us today. BITX, it was down for us. It was down at 1.10%, down 8%. And yet we are still up $1,700 today because of our diversification with Cornerstone. And so even if Bitcoin was up today, it wouldn't give us qualifying income to banks for loans, okay? I can use these loans to not only buy a house and a car, but I can use loans to level up and really grow my account outside of the stock market. So you need qualifying income for loans and that's what dividends give you. And Cornerstone gives you index dividends that are tax-free and they're dripped down at the nav. Okay. So what better argument could you make for Cornerstone? It's not in every brokerage. And again, not every brokerage has a special drip. So if you go to Discord, we have a broker specific channel that can tell you who has the special drip for Cornerstone. Okay, and if you need help doing what I'm doing, email me for my e-guides at akintod48 at gmail.com. Or if you just wanna follow my portfolio and see how I get this outperformance year to date where we're up 17% beating all the indexes, just click the join button on my wall at YouTube or I'll link that in the description below. And I'll talk to you soon, guys, thanks.